Welcome back everybody to some more Bloom Star Defense 6. Let's jump straight into it. Let's not muck about. We know what's going on here. Um, by the way, just in case you didn't know, this game does come out on the 14th of June, which is Wednesday, I think, or maybe it's Thursday this week. So keep your eyes peeled. It will be out on the store. I'll leave a link down below in the description, though, if you want to check it out. Alright, so we start off with some Rose Spikes. Uh, we've got a little monkey man here telling us something. Oh, you get a daily challenge. So the end of the road, medium standard. So we need to um, basically do that and you get given specific monkeys. So we get given a hero, a cannon, uh, attack shooter, and a spike factory. I would love to do this right now, but I can't because I'm not allowed to show you that hero just yet. I know the hype is is ridiculous, but it's it's so worth it. Anyway, let's uh, let's jump on, shall we, to the next map? Now I gave you guys another choice. What map do you want to do next? Uh, pretty much, well, I'd say it was like. 50% of people wanted four circles, and then the other three maps, like uh, In the Loop, Tree Stump, and Town Center, because I said I'm not going to do Monkey Meadow just yet, because it's quite a standard looking map. Loads of people wanted four circles, but I'm not going to do four circles, okay? I'm going to do uh, Town Center. The reason I'm going to do Town Center, we're going to do it on... Uh, we're gonna do one easy because we're doing the run through on easy to start off with the reason we're doing I know this is kind of annoying that people wanted the other one But the reason I'm doing this is I want to show you guys the mechanics of which when there are buildings present So you can see here there's buildings present when I bring a monkey out it says ah oh, you can't go there for example uh, so here you go that's a good example like you see the red like the red box around it saying that he can't shoot past it That's kind of what I want to show you guys today what I want to want to show you so let's pop you Gotta find the good spot. Let's put you there. Hello, buddy. How you doing? And also, in the next episode, I'm gonna be able to show you one more new hero, okay? Uh, which is really, really exciting. So, let's get this going. I've also unlocked some more towers uh, and stuff since yesterday's episode because people were like, Oh, can you already unlock them uh, so that we can see, like, later game stuff? Uh, and yes, I've already done that for you, and that's what we're gonna be looking at today. Now, what I want you guys to do, in the poll in the top right of the corner of the screen now, let me know what tier 5 upgrade you want to see. Before launch, I can only show you one tier 5 upgrade, uh, but I'm going to show you guys it in sandbox mode, uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day. So use the, the thing in the top right. Uh, I'm not allowed to show you any other tier 5 just yet, but, it, but trust me, I've had a look at them. They're so cool. Like, so cool. Loads of videos will come out. Actually, hit the like button if you want me to do a Balloons Tower Defense 6 week next week when the game comes out. Uh, if you want me to do that, I can get that done for you lot, uh, and we can get rolling and uh, and try try and do a whole week of just Balloons Tower Defense 6 content. I think that would be really sick, and it would launch uh, it would launch the launch really nicely. I'd be able to show you all the towers, all the tier 5s, etc, etc. It's a lot of work for me, but I'll do it. Okay, let me know. Just hit the like button. Let's get like 2,000 likes on this video. That would be sick. Okay, so we're starting off. We've got our guy up here. Uh, he's level 2. Quincy's looking good, and I also want to get a Spiker Pult. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, yeah. Spiker Pult coming through. So because this is a beta build before it comes out, I I've obviously been able to get, like, all the cash and, and money, monkey money in the game. Uh, so I've been able to unlock everything for you, which is really good. It just allows me to show you a little bit more without showing you guys too much. So, with the spiker pole, you might have wondered, oh, why did you put the spiker pole there? Watch when it tries to shoot a balloon coming around the corner, okay? It will shoot it, and then it will hit the windmill. Okay, it didn't then. It's going past it on that side. But when it actually hits the windmill itself, it just hits the windmill and stops. It doesn't go any further. That's the new mechanic. Uh, maybe it'll happen here. No, it's not happening there. It's, it's because it's shooting around the windmill. Uh, but yeah, trust me, that, that's how it works. Uh, which is actually really, really cool. And it there you go, you saw it then on one of those. Uh, it just doesn't go past it. Let's have a look then. I'm going to bring out one of the new characters uh, for a little bit. Let's bring out... Oh, yeah, let's bring out you. Okay, let's put you... Let's put you up here. All right, there we go. Let's put you up there. So, guys, this is the alchemist. Uh, you can see that he's obviously uh, one of the magician sides. Now, the, the troops are categorized into the, just your starter normal troops, your military troops, and then this is your magic troops. Uh, it's, it's the alchemist, the wizard, and I've forgotten what this guy's called. The druid, sorry, and the druid. Uh, and you get to see what they do. So they're pretty cool. I haven't been able to play enough with them yet to figure out all their best strategies, their best tactics. But you can see here, he's all about his potions. Um, I and mean, he throws acid at balloons that pops the balloons. So let's go with stronger acid on him and get him bulked up a little bit. 
I think it'd be pretty nice to see new characters just having like a little run around. I don't want to show you guys too much of everything because I want you to really go and experience it yourself and have fun. Because trust me, the game gets crazy. Some of the new tier 5s are insane and uh, you've got to kind of see them to believe them. Alright, let's bring out a fan favorite. Here's uh, the ninja. Why the heck did he drop there? That, uh, well, okay. Well, that was, a <laughs> that was a waste of money. He just dropped. I didn't even move my hand off the screen. Okay. Uh, I actually have got updates for this that they said were some bug fixes. But I don't want to update it in case I lose my progress. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's, put, let's put the... You know what? You can sit next to the new guy. You guys can sit next to each other. The alchemist and the ninja. Oh, look how cool the ninja looks. Oh, yeah. The ninja look- Oh yeah! That's right, Quincy. That ninja looks so cool. But the spiker pole is actually, uh, is actually doing really well for us. I should probably upgrade it to enhanced eyesight so it can pop them earlier. And of course then we're, we're saved against the camo balloons for when the camos come. Okay. Now I want the balloons to go a little bit further on this map because I want to, uh, I want to use some other stuff a little bit further on. I'm going to put you in there, Druid, okay? Now, the Druid is kind of like the Apprentice in a way. Like, they all do some sort of magic. But you can see he actually throws thorns, uh, which is really quite cool. It's, again, pretty unique. He's not got a long range. Uh, and if we upgrade him, you'll see that he kind of... He gets a little bit longer, but it, it's not that longer, okay? It's really not that longer. But uh, this is the Heart of Vengeance. Oddly as well, they don't, um, they don't have the descriptions. You can't... Oh, there you go. You click on them. Uh, it gains attack speed for up to 100 lives after getting this upgrade. Live, lives above maximum do not count. Okay, cool. So you can see him there throwing his thorns. Uh, let's get him... Should we go with... Let's go with hard thorns. There we go. And then he gets the heart of thunder. Uh, which reminds me of the lightning bolt from The Apprentice. Uh, but you'll see it in a second. But he's got a really nice reach to it. It almost reminds me as well of the grape shot of the Buccaneer. Like the kind of... The kind of reach that the Grape Shot has, or kind of the, the width that the, the, the Grape Shot throws at. That's what his thorns remind me of. And I, I love the Grape Shot. I think we all love the Grape Shot. It's one of those really nice early starter, like, oh, destruction yeah. things. You can really go to town with it. Okay, we're about to get halfway there, up to round 20 or 40. Uh, and with that, let's upgrade to Heart of Thunder. Gives him a little bit of a cooler cape. And then he also gets... um. Uh, Druid of the Storm as well. So Heart of Thunder unleashes regular blast of forked lightning the arc from balloon to balloon. Very similar to the Apprentice. Um, we're about to find out how actually how good it is though. Let's slow it down here so we can see him at work. Yeah, look at that. That gets a really, really long reach on it. That's impressive. Almost like the uh, the the boomerang when it throws all the way down the balloons. It's, that's got a really good reach to it. I do like that, I must say. Okay, let's bring someone else out, shall we? Who shall we bring out? Uh, let's bring... Where's my submarines at? There's my submarine. I'm gonna bring a submarine out, and I'm gonna put him... I'm just gonna put him up there, because obviously we're gonna get advanced intel, so it's not too much of an issue. Oh, okay, I don't quite have enough. He's, he's just gonna be sat there for a minute, kind of doing nothing. Uh, can you zoom? No, you can't zoom in. I really wish you could zoom in. That's still... Zooming and panning would be something really cool to do. All right, level up, 24, nice. Oh, cool, so we can either unlock the Spike Factory or the Monkey Village. Uh, I've got to go with the Spike Factory. Don't know who's going to go for the other one. I have no idea. Advanced Intel, all right. So that, look at that. That gives you a really nice view of what it can and can't see. So from the position that I put it in, the, the reason I put it up there, is that it can see most of the map. It just can't see this final kind of corner. Uh, so that's really cool, and again, it makes a massive difference. Even with, like, the sniper uh, and with this guy, it uses almost... Now, take this with a pinch of salt when I say it's more realistic. Don't forget, it's, it's monkeys fighting balloons. But it's more realistic in the sense that, um, you know, it, they can't shoot through obstacles. They can shoot through themselves, but they can't shoot through obstacles. So if they actually weren't able to shoot through themselves, the game would be really hard and horrible to play. Uh, but with the few obstacles, it just makes it that little bit different. It makes it harder to create like a choke point as well. And it also takes away a little bit of the power of the submarine, the sniper, uh, and also the anything really long range, to be honest. Anything, including the super monkey. So these are those new purple balloons. They're pretty cool. And there are even more new balloons later on in nice. game. And hopefully we'll be able to see some of them later on. Including fortified balloons. Yeah, yeah. Fortified balloons. 
I actually had a fortified BFB earlier. Oh my god, it was pretty crazy. Anyway, let's uh, see. Can we get? We can't get this guy upgraded just yet. Uh, we might need to get ourselves. I think actually, what I'll do is I'll get a, a cannon. I'll get a cannon ready. Uh, actually, I'm gonna get the cannon there so it can hit both sides. Let's put it there. Give it some extra range. Frag bombs. Oh yes. Uh, faster reload. Why not? Because we want to obviously get that up so it can uh, hit the Moabs. This can obviously hit from miles away, so that's pretty useful. And, uh, yeah. So, also, this uh, lightning bot on the bottom right is to do powers. Now, I went through and got a load of powers so I can show you what they all do. You get simple ones like this. Road spikes. They just sit there. And, obviously, if anything gets further, they'll get killed by those. This here creates a nice little pond so you can put water stuff wherever you want. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, so, for example... Like, over here. Uh, actually, I, I'm going to put it here. Right there. You see? So I can make a nice little pond like that. This is all on BTD5, by the way. So this isn't, like, technically new-new, but it looks awesome. And if you haven't played 5 or you didn't play much of 5 like me, you wouldn't know. So you go. You can put a Buccaneer in there. And now, obviously, the Buccaneer uh, can shoot around and stuff, which is really, really neat. You've got other powers as well. Uh, such as spikes, you've got glue traps, you've got scanners, uh, you've got mo uh, a monkey swarm, the top left one, which is really cool. And you've got things like uh, this, which is really nice, if I can pull it out. Oh, do I not have one? Okay, I don't have one. Or like this, which gives you extra money uh, throughout, throughout like this round and the next round. So it's a little boost like that that you can spend your cash on. Uh, they really do come in handy, and they're, they're quite nice to have, especially for like later game stuff. Okay, let's go Crow's Nest, and we've got our Grape Shot. Cool. This is looking good. This is looking good. Now, one thing I wish they, they did as well, and I saw some people comment about this. I wish the cannon, so you can see, obviously, the, uh, the cannon down there. I wish that had a monkey with it as well. To be honest, I wish every tower or turret had a monkey. The ones that don't are the, the bomb tower, the tax shooter. So if I bring the tax shooter out and pop it... Uh, where should I put it? Actually, if I put it there, that's a good spot for it. You see, the tank shooter doesn't have a monkey with it, so it doesn't have any kind of emotion or flair or anything uh, to it. And I would really like it if they if they had if they added that in. You know, a monkey that lived inside the tank shooter. Maybe he was a little bit mad with spiky hair or something. Uh, that, that would be pretty funny. Let's go with faster shooting and even faster shooting and hot shots. Oh yes! And now, like you know, the monkey could be there. Uh, in the middle of that tack shooter with like fiery spiky hair or something like that. Anyway, it's just a thought. It's just something that I was thinking about and I saw some of you guys think about. Just adding emotion to the game. And I wish they all spoke as well. Like Qu uh, Quincy you want some? obviously talks. He said, do you want some? I wish all the others, like the bomb tower guy was like, explosives ready. Or, you know, something like that. Or maybe, I don't know, the flame guy was like a crazy, ha ha, tack shooters at your go. Or something like that. You know, hire me for voice acting. <laughs> that's that's not my job, but I do like doing it. Anyway, uh, hot shots, cannon ship. Ooh, no, I'm not gonna go for the cannon ship. I'm gonna go for the merchant man. I'm not sure what this is. This is a new kind of ship. Generates cash each round automatically. Oh, okay, sweet. So it's just a money earner. Nice. I, I had no idea what that was actually gonna do, but I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with what it does. Okay, we're going to have our first BFB coming in pretty soon. So I'm going to get this guy souped up with a Moab Mauler ready for that BFB to come through. Uh, and yeah, that should be okay. Actually, what I'm going to get as well on the next to it. Let's get it on top of it there. No, actually, I need it a little bit underneath. Actually, there. Let's just put it there. I'm going to get a glue gunner to shoot the strongest so that it can just, um, you know, it can just, just stick on them a bit more. Stronger glue, because I want to get that. See, the Moab glue for 2,100. Uh, I want to get that. So, let's see if let's see if we can. Because that will actually slow down the Moab, which obviously is going to be really helpful. Are we going to be alright with these camos? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Good job, team. Good job, team. Okay, round 38 of 40. It's getting pretty intense, isn't it? It's getting pretty intense at this point. But you can see again that that windmill is in the way for my Buccaneer. Uh, so it definitely, that mechanic is definitely there, and it's, uh, I'm actually a big fan of it. I like it. It's, it's making a little bit of difference. Don't forget, guys, this isn't like Balloon Star Defense Battles, right? This is six years later this game was made, so it looks so much cooler, uh, and plays a lot better than Balloon Star Defense Battles. Okay, come on. Please say we get enough. 
Oh, only just. Thank God for that. Okay, so now we can uh, slow down Moabs with this glue. Look at the glue as well. It's pinky purple. It's so cool. And he's got two glue shots. Man, that's really neat. Okay, round 39. Looking pretty good, though. It's looking pretty good. I haven't been able to see too much of my alchemist, but I haven't really leveled him up much. So let's level him up a little bit, add some bits into it. I think, let's compare them. So this guy's got 250. This guy's had a, one and a half thousand pops. Yeah, that's how much uh, that lightning bolt goes through and does. I'm going to go for the Druid of Wrath. Oh my god, he looks so cool. Okay, they're starting to come around now. This is actually getting pretty close. But we should be good. We should be good. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Are you ready, guys? The Moab's coming through. Come on, stick it up. Yes. Oh, you see, Quincy even, like, spoke then about the Moab. That's See, that's good. It just adds that heart to the game, and I love it. I really love that. Okay, well, we've destroyed it. And boom, victory. There we go, everybody. We have won that battle right there. So it's pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty easy map, but again, I wanted to show you that, you know, it, it has a little bit different stuff. You can see I actually did cubism on hard. Uh, that's kind of how I leveled everything up to start off with. So let me know next episode, tree stump, in the loop, or four circles. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just, I'm going to go play more of this game. Peace out.